Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 260 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a relatively rare case in which retrograde crossing was done through a left internal mammary artery graft. The patient was a woman with previous coronary bypass graft surgery, presenting with exertional angina, normal ejection fraction, and had anterior ischemia on the stress test. And this is the coronary angiogram showing heavy calcification in the LAD. There is a CTO right at the takeoff of the first or second diagonal if we count this one. Then there is the occluded segment. And then there is another diagonal that has the lima. However, there is a tight lesion just proximal to the touchdown of the lima graft. So essentially, the LAT territory is not getting perfused well because of the severe lesion proximal to the, list, to the lima distal anastomosis. And the same can be seen here. There is the LAD with uh, the occlusion. And then there is reconstitution of the vessel distally through the lima graft. We have a blunt proximal cap at the takeoff of the diagonal. The length is about 25 millimeters. There was also a bifurcation on the distal cap with the distal vessel filling through the lima. But as we mentioned, there was severe lesion proximal to the touchdown of the lima. Based on this, our plan was to start with undergrade wiring. If that didn't work, go retrograde through the lima. And if that didn't work, go through ADR. The fact that the patient's ejection fraction was normal was helping. But in general, there is high concern when performing retrograde through Lima for ischemia and hemodynamic compromise. Here is the initial wiring attempts. We used the Gaia X3 and we placed an intravascular ultrasound catheter in the diagonal branch. IVUS uh, is done doing the pullback and it demonstrates uh, as we come back that the guide wire is actually entering into the CTO. So IVUS can really help us understand where the guide wire is locating, and in this case it is located within uh, the LAD, so we've punctured in the right direction. And the same thing, this is the guide wire getting in. It's a little eccentric, but then continues and it is within the LAD architecture. However, when we did the injection from the Lima, the guide wire was in the extra plug space. We decided to use parallel wiring, so we left the first wire in place and used a second Gaia wire. And that wire seemed to go along the right direction. However, on contralateral injection from the Lima, it was also in the extra plug space. So after multiple attempts and after we failed to go, we decided to go retrograde through the Lima. The patient was hemodynamically stable and we decided to not use hemodynamic support, although it is something to be uh, considered especially when going down through tortuous uh, lima grafts. The Sion Black was able to negotiate the tortuosity, and now it's uh, heading backwards. However, we had some difficulty with the microcatheter. This is a Kerval, and it made it well through the first loop. But then we had a very difficult time advancing it through the second loop to go retrograde towards the LED. So multiple attempts were done, but at every single time, what was happening is that the um, microcaster prolapsed towards the distal part of the diagonal. So what to do now? The patient is hemodynamically stable, but again, we can deliver a retrograde microcaster to be able to puncture retrograde. So what we did is we used the retrograde wire as a marker of where the vessel was. We inserted a Stingray balloon. These are the two markers of the Stingray balloon. And then we did the stick and swap with the guy in X3 and the Pilot 200. And as you can see from the injection from the Lima, the Pilot went into the distal true lumen. Now, the downside of doing this is that we're going to lose a second diagonal. However, we do have the Lima on it, so we did not mind that much. So we predilated, uh, stented, and got a nice result with TM3 flow into the LAD. Again, the second diagonal is lost, but it is filling through the lima, so that's not a problem. And this was the final result. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that change of strategy from undergrade wiring to parallel wiring to retrograde crossing to ADR can be critical for achieving success in complex cases like this one. 
In this case, we used Ivo's guided puncture, which helped us confirm that the wire was going inside the LED. However, it subsequently went into the extra plug space. So puncturing uh, the proximal cap by itself does not guarantee that the wire will continue to remain within the vessel architecture as we advanced. Third lesson is about the limum. Always has to be done with extreme care and quite often hemodynamic support is needed. In our case, the patient did well, did not develop significant ischemia, did not require hemodynamic support, but the challenge was that we could not advance the retrograde microcatheter because of tortuosity. Instead, what we did, which is the fourth and final lesson, is we used the retrograde wire as a marker of the location of the trude lumen, and we did a re-entry using the Stingray balloon that allowed the recanalization of the LED. Thank you.